Hey, how's it going, guys? Carson back here once again. And I got a package in the mail finally. It was supposed to show up Tuesday. Would have been nice for the Tuesday night live stream, but then Wednesday came and Thursday came and nothing. But hey, it's Friday. Great. We got some comics to show from the Kevin Eastman store. So I got like two mystery packs from uh, Kevin Eastman's fan store. So I actually got a share screen up here. So we'll go ahead and show you guys uh, what this is exactly. So if you go to the Kevin Eastman studios.com, uh, there is on their store and they are sold out, but I figured I'd just show it so we can describe what this is exactly. So there were a couple bundles posted around what would have been the San Diego Comic-Con time. Uh, one was called the Mirage Publishing Kawa Bundle. And then there was this other one, the Classic Volume 1 Kawa Bundle. Uh, yeah, it's Kawa Bundle. I love that word, by the way. So basically, they're like 36 bucks a piece. Uh, one, I believe, came with 15 books uh, from Kevin's personal collection. So what's better than that? Um and yeah, the I believe one of the bundles comes with a signed Kevin Eastman book as well from the current run. Uh, so definitely trying to find these things as near impossible as it is. Like besides, you know, finding the lucky dollar bin pull. So to be able to get like 15 of them for 36 bucks a piece, I don't even need the Kevin Eastman signed book. Like I would just take them normal because I can't find these books anywhere. And I like anything Ninja Turtles as you can kind of tell by the room. Um, so to be able to get this many turtle books for like halfway reasonable price and a Kevin Eastman signature on top, you guys know I love signatures as well. Um, I, I probably should have bought more, but I think they're like limit ones. And I don't really collect all of the Archie stuff yet. That's the other bundle that they had. So I at least wanted to start filling in those Mirage runs because I can't, I, I barely ever see them. But before we get into some of our uh, other fun stuff today, I we actually have a chat showing up surprisingly. So big thanks, guys. I know this is pretty random and I had to switch the links around because apparently the mobile link isn't synced up with my web. But anyway, special shout out to Discovery Bay Comics. What's going on, JB? Nice to see you in the chat. Hopefully you're enjoying your time with your family. I know you've been taking it easy on the live stuff this week, but hopefully you're doing well. We got Samuel David hanging out today as well. And Luis Ramirez, 504. How you doing, man? All right, so before I get to the mystery pack, I'm not going to show off a lot today because I'll be honest, I've been at work nonstop, and I've had a chance to read a lot. And on top of it, I upgraded my internet to fiber, and with that, I got the Xbox Ultimate Game Pass bundle, whatever that's called. So I've been playing a lot of video games lately uh, between finishing up The Last of Us 2, which if you have a PS4, just buy that first game and then play that second one. Phenomenal games. Absolutely love the second one. It might be, it may give Spider Man a run for its mind for my favorite game this generation, but definitely play it for yourself before you read all the reviews. Uh, and then I played Crackdown as a part of this uh, Game Pass Ultimate. I, that's all I did on my one day off this week. So, uh, so I'm not going to bore you guys with books I haven't read besides obviously the Turtles Mystery Pack. Uh, but I did want to give a special shout out because I haven't had a chance to do this live yet. Uh, to California Blend Art. So a lot of people in the community have been getting a lot of the California Blend Art. Uh, I had a chance to talk with this artist on the kickoff show of the first mainframe Comic-Con. If you don't know who that is, uh, she sent her information right here. Uh, so go to Instagram, Cal at California Blend. Use the hashtag California Blend Art. Uh, so definitely check out her Instagram uh, use that link there. I believe she has a link tree to get to her store on there because um, she has some smoking deals on some paintings, guys. So if you guys like original art and paintings, uh, I actually end up buying three paintings from her store. Um, so basically, I think I paid 30 bucks for two of them and only 20 bucks for the, this first one here. So uh, this was $20 on her store. Just an awesome painting of Black Panther. Reminds me of like that... Uh, Mondo T's poster series they got going on where they have like a lot of side profile shots. Can't remember the artist who does that for Mondo T's, but they have a lot of posters that are very similar to this. So to have an actual California blend painting, I thought that was pretty awesome. And it's uh, Gabriel Howard's her name. She actually signs the back of each of the canvases. So she painted this one on February 4th. 
So I thought that was kind of cool. She put all of her information back there, so I will never forget it. So I'll probably hang this in my living room along with these next two. So like I've been saying, I've been slowly getting back into gaming quite a bit. Um, since I got better internet, I have minimal storage in all my devices. Uh, but speaking of gaming, had to get these two as soon as I saw them. So these are 30 bucks a piece, but I had to get the set. I think you guys will see why. So uh, here is Paper Mario, which I haven't played the new game yet. I've heard too many good things, but I still love those like the first three Paper Marios are all amazing, especially the GameCube one. Uh, so these will be going above my game collection downstairs in my main living room. So Paper Mario, she says she painted this September 15th, 2019, which I can't believe for 30 bucks this was available on her store for that long and no one swooped up and got it. So luckily I was able to acquire that one. And of course, when you have Mario, you got to have Luigi. So this one was the same price, painted around the same time, August 21st. Uh, but yeah, 30 bucks for both of these. That That's a steal of a deal all day, in my opinion. So very happy to get those. I'll be hanging both of these up right next to each other downstairs in my living room. Can't wait to do that. That's so why I wanted to at least get this video over with today so I can finally put those up. Because sometimes like, I'll get a book or something like that. And like I want to put it on my walls. Like, oh, crap. I haven't showed it off and acknowledged that I got it yet. Because sometimes I also use this channel as just like, I got this at this time, basically. So, all right. I do want to say a couple more shout outs in the chat. We got Scott Evans. What's going on, Scott Evans? This guy, he, he I don't know if he wants me to reveal it yet. But if you go to the Comic Core Discord server, he showed off a heck of a book he just got in the mail today as well. Um, so big shout to Scott Evans. He, I, I didn't even know a book in that grade on that specific book existed. So big thumbs up, man. Congrats on that purchase. Uh, so like I said, I don't want to spoil it here because I think it was just a preview for the people of the Discord server. But yeah, big shout out to Scott Evans. I know he's got to be very excited today for the book he got. So without further ado, I said I got two mystery packs here. Uh, from the Kevin Eastman store. And then uh, I also want to shout out Comic Jabroni on this. He actually showed off the one pack he got. Uh, so big thanks to him because that way I kind of knew what I was going to expect in the mail. Uh, so I guess, um, yeah, so they actually have like two very nice pieces of board there. Calabunga Carson, got to love it. I might actually just hang on to that piece of board. I'm just going to imagine Kevin Eastman wrote that himself, even though he probably paid somebody to do that. But anyway, it is a fan store, but you know how I imagine. I use my little knife here. Hopefully, I don't cut anything here. I just got home from work. Usually, I'd be a little bit more prepped than this. Okay, cool. Um, there's definitely one book I, I've been looking for in dollar bins because I have the second issue, but I don't have the first. Oh, what's going on? We got the uncanny Kyle Walkett in the chat. What is going on, Kyle? Congrats on crossing that 900 subscriber mark. So if you guys aren't subbed to him, be one of the first to get him on the road to 1,000. All right, tape everywhere here. So we'll be looking at the first pack. And I can already see in this first pack, it looks like he threw in a, like a freaking trade. So I was just expecting like single issue comics. So I'm really wondering what that, like there's a bigger, chunkier book that is a part of this. And yeah, it's, I didn't expect that. So we'll go. I want to look at this one first because the curiosity is killing me on this. Whoops, more tape. <laughs> so this is riveting entertainment, I'm sure. Just me separating tape. Uh, we got Bearded Comic Bro in the chat. What is going on, Bearded Comic Bro? How's it going? Nice to see you. We got Mr. Garrel, man. What is going on, Mr. Garrel? Hopefully, I didn't miss anybody. All right, now that we got this out of the way. Uh, what in the world is this? So it says Certificate of Authenticity Cow Bundle from the personal collection of Kevin Eastman. And he actually signed the Certificate of Authenticity. And it comes with this. Uh, I think I collected these as a kid. That's awesome. So not only do you get comic books from Kevin Eastman's personal collection, you get uh, actual uh, animated show cards. So I probably have like tons of these laying around my parents' house. So. That is awesome. I'm definitely hanging on to that. So this big book, let's see what we got here. It looks like a trade. It says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Volume 3. So this is pretty awesome, actually, because I'm obviously like these trades are probably even more limited than anything else. So there you go. A really cool cover. This cover is probably cooler than the actual Ninja Turtles 3 movie. 
So like this is cooler than any poster they ever made for that. So that's awesome. I, I that's because one of my goals uh reading wise is to eventually read the whole first volume turtle. So obviously it's cool to have a reader copy in that whole part. So I gotta unbox more stuff here. Um <laughs> bag. So I think this was the bundle, I think. And this actually may be the Mirage one. Yeah, this has got to be the Mirage one because I think the signed one is in the other bundle here. Um, so once again, these are ones that like, I'm just, it's all going to be run fillers. There's no like grand prize or anything. It's just a lot of cool books. Uh, here is TMNT Flaming Carrot number one. So this is one I was talking about. I've been actually looking for this um, in dollar bins because I found issue two for like 20 cents. I just never see issue one. So I'm very happy to have that. Actually, hey, look, I got another copy of issue two, so it looks like I might get the entire series here because the next one is going to be issue number three. So pretty cool. Now I have the whole series. So <laughs> didn't need the issue two, but I'll take one and three all day. So there you go. I'll probably, I think I have like three copies of issue two now. And actually, hey, who would have thought there's an issue four? So I got the entire mini series of TMNT Flaming Carrot, even though I'll be honest, I don't know a thing about the Flaming Carrot. So there you go. Next up, it looks like we've got TMNT, the Savage Dragon crossover, which I know, I think they did this on the image side. So didn't really know they had a, a Mirage version of this. So that's pretty awesome. I definitely did not know this existed. So awesome. That's really cool. Uh, and then actually, hey, remember how I mentioned that one earlier? This is the one I'm a little bit more familiar with, and I guess it does say Mirage Studios on it. That This one does look more familiar to me, so I guess I don't know if these are two different series. Actually, they are, because this one's from September 93, and then this one's from August of 95. So, yeah, I didn't know there were two different volumes of that. We got Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number three, so... Very happy to keep collecting these Tales series. That's from 1987, um, so can't beat that. Let's see what else we got here. Another Tales book, which I think I actually already have this one. This is issue seven, which I think is a reprint of issue nine because it's pretty much like the same cover and premise going on there. Oh, this this is awesome, guys. So we got uh, TMNT issue 60. So this is actually from the first run Mirage, which I, I wasn't expecting any of the actual first run books, but one of my goals is I really want to read the original City at War. So when I got back into collecting Team and T comics, which wasn't too long ago, it may have only been like the last year or two, um, the City at War story I was going on in the current run, and that was amazing. So I really want to see the how the original turned out. Um, and I did not have this issue. I think there's only, what, 62, 63 issues in the original run, so... This is obviously late run stuff here. So that's awesome. And guess what? We got issue number 52 as well. So very happy with that. Here's a Casey Jones issue one of two from Mirage Publishing. Really awesome there. Can't ever have enough Casey Jones. So really nice. Very happy with this uh, bundle so far. Uh, awesome. They threw an issue two as well. So don't have to look for that. Really, really thrilled about that. Nice. Almost done with this first stack here. Uh, so we've got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number three, volume number two. So I was actually like in this bundle, I was like, expecting a lot more from this actual run. Because like I said, this Mirage volume two run, you never see a single issue anywhere, at least around here. Like if any of these people sniff out turtles, it's being taken out of the dollar bin and marked up like triple or like at least five, 10 bucks. But yeah, I'm very happy to start filming in that run. And we got one more, let's see, issue number four from that same run. So awesome. So very, very happy with that first bundle. Like there, there's probably like only two books I had out of this whole bundle. So very, very happy with that. And then of course this really cool looking trade, um, so, yeah, I definitely can't beat that. So we got one more bundle to go, uh, but I want to get back into the chat. We still got Mr. Garrell hanging out. He says, well, if you knew nothing about comics and you clicked on this show and heard Ninja Turtles and Flaming Carrot. <laughs> nice. And we still got Scott Evans saying so much Mirage stuff. Yeah, that was the whole premise 
of both of these are they're, they're mirage oriented. Um, and yeah, like I said, like I would love to start really run filling the second mirage run, and I would love to get all those image ones. I at least have the first 10, and Gara loves the book, so absolutely. So, okay, on the next one, the signed copy is on top, and I'm pretty much already happy with that because it's an issue I didn't have already. So I, I like not having doubles. My one concern is I hope there's not a lot of doubles in this stack from that first stack. So that I don't need another series of flaming carrot. <laughs> I'm happy to have one complete set now. But if I get another issue too, I think that'll make four copies for my collection now. So just trying to figure out the best way to pry this out of here. And I'm actually very happy with the book I just turned up there. Um, it's not first run, but it's a run that actually... <laughs> I'm going to have to look this book up after we're done. I think it's a, a harder to find book, actually. But we'll do that one last. All right. So the signed one is issue 74. It's the Kevin Eastman cover on the main run. And it's kind of difficult. Well, there we go. Thank you, Light. Uh, just right there is Kevin Eastman's signature. Uh, so it was promised in this bundle here that there would be a signed book. So like I said, very thrilled that it's one I didn't have so I can read it and enjoy it. So that's pretty awesome. Um, actually, oh, man, this bundle's sweet. <laughs> so this Mirage bundle is from like 2001 to 2006. I think it's technically volume. Yeah, it's technically volume four Ninja Turtles. Um, so when I say these Mirage ones don't turn up, this run turns up even less. So I, I'm very happy that it looks like flipping through this bundle. It's almost entirely uh, from volume four. So here's issue five. And I have none of these whatsoever. I, 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 when I say I never see these, you better believe I never see this. I just want to reiterate that. So there's issue number five. And even though they're not bagged and boarded, um, they're still most, I haven't seen like a dud in the bunch. Everything seems to be in pretty good condition so far. Um, and then here's issue number 10. That's <laughs> pretty wacky cover on there. And I got a shout out. Actually, the back cover looks pretty badass too. So yeah, that's cool. I'm going to have to get a clear backing board for some of these. Um, so very happy with that. And I, I know, you know, shout out to GPAP out there. Um, the later runs of these, they're, they sell for something on eBay. So that's why I was surprised that like these are in the bundle. So, I mean, one, the higher you go, the more rare these books get. So there's issue 18. Uh, so pretty cool Fugitoid cover there. We got J Hood Creative. What is going on, man? Hopefully you're having a good day at work today. Thanks for listening. Let's see what else we got. Uh, issue number 12. So once again, obviously didn't have that. And they promised no doubles in the bundle. So I'm hoping there are no doubles from the other bundle in this, which it, it looks like I'm good. Uh, issue number seven looks like some pro wrestling or powered superhero turtles or something there. So gotta love it. And then, Hey, look, Peter later on top of a mountain on the back. So here's such random things on the back of these books. That's pretty awesome. All right. This one looks newer. What's this? Okay. It's a uh, issue number two from 2003. I feel like I've seen this cover on another comic. I just can't think of where, but uh, hope maybe I'll turn up an issue on. We'll see. But they didn't say it wouldn't be in there. Uh, issue number 17. So once again, th this is awesome, guys. Speaking of awesome, we got the great Legend show in the chat saying, newsstand. So how's it going, Legend? Hopefully you're having a good day as well. I'm sure we'll be talking tonight on Comic Corps Roundtable. We got issue number 15. Once again, I really dig these covers. These are awesome. Now, here's a pretty late in the run one here. Uh, issue number 24. So once again, happy with that. <laughs> I love the backs of these books. Like this is Kevin Eastman. Just, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Peter Laird. My bad. Uh, just hanging out outside exploring. <laughs> and then uh, this is issue 11. It's got a cool splinter cover on it. And then we got issue number eight. So, of course, these will be all going in E-Gerber, My Lights 2s, Halfbacks. There you go, Legend. <laughs> Issue number 16. That one may just have a crease on it now. Like I said, most of these, considering 
all pretty good condition. Issue number 19, so it doesn't look like I'll be getting that issue one, but I think that's one of the actually one of the easiest ones to find in this run. And then the last one is issue number 22. So if I remember, I think this was around 27, 28-ish issues. Like those last three or four are very hard to find. Um, but I think these these would probably go probably about five bucks a piece, maybe even a little less. But like I said, just the, the print run on these is extremely low because including myself, not a lot of people were thinking about or collecting turtles. And well, this one says June of 1995. Um, so I'd imagine the finding these in the wild is not that possible, or at least if you guys find them, I guess, yeah, go ahead and send them my way, but <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but yeah, extremely happy with this package. I think it was about 70 ish dollars total. In my opinion, well worth it to start collecting these couple runs, the, basically the volume two Mirage and the volume four Mirage volume three being the image stuff. Uh, and then to get those Volume 1 City at War books, too. Like I said, those later ones, once again, a little difficult to find. Um, so I think this, I, I, I feel like I'm extremely fortunate uh, getting these two mystery packs. A lot of great stuff in them. And out of both of these stacks, I think I only counted maybe two books that I have currently in my collection. So very, very happy with this Kevin Eastman store purchase. And once again, not only do I get a signed book, I get a signed certificate of authenticity with a cool shredder card. So very happy with that. I can't wait to bag and board the rest of these and then hang up, of course, my Gabby, AKA California blend art paintings here, which if you guys missed it at the top of the stream, got me Mario Luigi. These will be going above my game case downstairs. And of course I just, cause it was really cheap. I threw in the black Panther just because, because it's awesome. That's why. So I'll be hanging those up today. Uh, hopefully, you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Uh, I guess some shout outs before I get off of here. I'll be live tonight on the Comic Core, 10 p.m. Eastern. We're doing roundtable. We're talking about the toys that made us. So I know that's a nice, fun TV show to watch on Netflix, which I highly recommend watching the TMNT episode, by the way. And there's also a great episode about the LJN WWF figures, too. Um, so we're kind of just basing our episode tonight on that um just can't wait to talk about of course turtles thundercats uh well even the wrestling figures and so on and so forth uh hopefully tomorrow uh mike green and i will be recording comics of the atom uh we're going to be talking about spawns issue one through six uh which is kind of fun timing because uh sci-fi and sci-fi wire just released a really cool documentary about todd mcfarland you can catch on the sci-fi wire youtube page for free uh, so I highly recommend you guys check that out if you haven't had a chance already. And of course, uh, we got Mainframe Comic Con coming up next week on the Comic Core channel and among other channels as well, like Chuck Loda Comics. Shout out to him. Um, some final thoughts in the chat. We got the Uncanny Cow Walk. He says he's enjoying AEW. Oh, yeah, man. That whole debate between Orange Cassidy and Chris Jericho talking about climate change and all that fun stuff. Just... Yeah, it's been a lot of fun watching, except for uh, when Sammy Guevara threw a folded chair or an, an unfolded chair at Matt Hardy and destroyed his forehead. I don't know what that was all about, but other than that, I love me some AEW. Samuel David agrees. I got some great stuff today. Thank you so much, man, for checking it out. Legend says he's doing good, staying busy at work. I know the feeling, man. I know the feeling. Uh, Jay Hood is asking, does Mainframe Comic Con do any sales, any dealers or pop-ups? Yeah, I believe there's a, a dealer page being put together as we speak. So I'll probably check back throughout the weekend on MainframeComicCon.com. And they're actually, at the very least, the dealer page uh, will have some great art and artists featured on there. They're working on getting some actual comic book dealers added to that page. Uh, and hopefully all that will be up by, you know, launch next Friday. So definitely look out for that. Uh, but until then, guys, I'll see you tonight on the Comic Core and hopefully very soon on this channel. I just got a whole night schedule coming up next week. So you may not see me here for a minute, but I'll try to make as many appearances for you guys as I can. Until next time, have a good day, guys.